What is up, ladies and gentlemen? If you've hopped into Fortnite recently and you check out the featured maps, you may have noticed there's like an NVIDIA like map going on. Um, the team and I are, are very proud that that we worked on this map with with NVIDIA to make it. And uh, it, it's awesome that, uh, you know, we get to work on something really cool. And also, if you if you play through and get to the end and uh, send a screenshot on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag, uh, you can actually win a laptop, which is really cool. But in this video, I wanted to go through the map and also give you the behind the scenes um, look from from the map creators themselves, Jeff VH, oh. Relic. Uh, Z-Bird isn't here because he's doing actual real life art teacher stuff. But um, we'll get some. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll throw in what I remember from what he told me. But let's hop in. But yeah, we've been working on this for, for a good while. You may have seen some videos where I play as like another account, Swifter is Ball. That's because this account was kind of like the, uh, was, big, was where the work was happening. So check it out. Here's the force map. You can see the code at the top middle. And so everyone sort of had a different role in what they did in the map. So uh, Raleigh did a, did a bunch of the rooms and also did like some of like the the, the more like finely detailed like you know uh art pieces like relic like will point always on the right g-force over there there we go he did that they, it actually used to have the the g-force eye to the left of it but i think it we like it wasn't quite to to the standard of how it exactly looks. it's only something you can do in fortnite and and jeff vh um worked on a bunch of but also like you know he's kind of like the, the mastermind behind like in you know, the planning and the routing and and some of the mechanisms um Jeff can talk about that stuff as we go along, too. Yeah, cool. There we go. All right. We heard something from him, finally. All right. There we go. I was like, oh, Jeff, please save me. save me here, Jeff. I, I'm still here. Yeah. I'm going to throw cool. Z-Bird some credit, though, because he seriously of course. banged out a lot of the rooms. Really oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So as we go through the rooms, we'll point out who did what. So this main lobby over here. So so Relic worked on, on like, you know, the logo over there. But, um, Jeff, you were the that the you basically designed this first lobby area right yeah i had to figure out how to make it and i thought yeah nvidia is like uh, making laptops and uh, graphic cards so i had to make it look uh, really futuristic so i found this floor and these uh, these uh, slopes over here and they look good and i put a lot of green lights in them and i thought yeah that's good so Dude, there's no. a lot of uh, it's exactly uh, how i would have made it yeah there we go so yeah, we added some arrows over here so you know to go to the center. And when you begin, just hop kind of down here and get this trippy kind of like, you know, no, like intro to the scene. So it feels pretty cool. And so when we were working with when we were working with our friends at um at NVIDIA, my boy Brandon wanted to go like a, a back to school kind of theme. And and these guys, we like just ran with it. So you start off, you know. It's the first day of class. You're here and you get asked you know, your first question. What was the material used in the construction of uh, classroom blackboards? So you have three options here. Paper, clay, slate. What do you guys in chat think? What do you think you guys think watching think? Take Pause the video if you need more time to think. But um, three, two, one, spoiler time. The answer is clay. Yeah, so slate is what they make them out of now. Clay is what they used to make them out of. Yep, yep. Um, so cool. Uh, so now, what's another cool feature of this map is, is it's like there's some some multiple paths. Like the ending's gonna be the same for everybody, but there are some zones you you won't see if you only take one path. So there's some replay value here. So you got astronomy or history. Which one? Which one did you do? You did uh, you did astronomy, right, Ralk? Uh, or no, or they both Z-Bird? Both were Z-Bird. Word. Yeah, both, yep. Like I said, you right. banged um, out a lot of the rooms man. pretty early and let me focus on the stuff that I needed to focus on. Like what a card. monster. What a monster. So check it out. You got like a big griffin over here. Just kind of like leaning over the map. Beautiful. Um, so the question's right here. Dragons in the Chinese culture usually have four legs and no wings. And this one's a true or false. So, um, I don't know. Dragons having four wings. That's, that sounds very particular. Let me do it. False. And that's just so I can show you the question, like, what happens when it's wrong? This, you can either go back, you can go through the window, whatever like that. And so the questions were provided for, by our friends at NVIDIA. Um, I wrote up some of the some of the results, you know, result, you know, like, you got it wrong, you suck, answers. None of them actually say that, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but there we go. No, you guys are all great. So there we go. Next, depending if you did either room, you end up over here. And check it out. It's like Z-Bird, this one, too. It's like you're holding a phone, you're going into, like, a, a, like a game of, like temple runners or whatever so it's, it's pretty neat i don't know how many of you guys saw that the first time you saw it but um let's hop on in now this room was this one jeff nope 
Was this one also Zebra? zebra? Once again? Yep. Uh, Wait, zebra hang on. Does Zebra do all the rooms? No, no Zebra no. did the, like the first few. Uh, okay. Yeah, he did the Just first making sure. Ones. Gotcha. All right, because I kind of always came in after the fact of the electrical right. round. In the end, we worked all on all rooms. But, yeah, we, uh, we right. all, he made he made the base of it like uh, looking like this with the falling rocks, like the Indiana Jones theme. No, uh, yeah, this this is great. I love it. So, which continent does not have any ancient pyramids? So yeah, Africa, South America, Asia, no in the corner, Antarctica. What do you guys think? Asia, Asia's got no pyramids, man. And of course, I'm wrong. China, Japan, and Indonesia all have pyramids, actually. Um, Australia might have... It has pyramids, but that's kind of like a debated kind of thing, whether they're pyramids or not. They're kind of flattish. But, uh, but yeah. So, in this one, you're supposed to grab the grappler. And Antarctica doesn't have any pyramids. To our knowledge, what if under all that snow, there were, like, pyramids and other structures, like, from that Aliens vs. Predator movie, right? Yeah, you right? never know. Yeah, you never know. We don't know. But as far as we know, Antarctica... Doesn't I always I used to have a thing here that said like you know like you know as far as we know but that's a little conspiracy-ish so I got rid of it. Yeah. Great. Next up is a computer lab. Also very cool. So here's a question: Alan Turing is considered the father father of, and you walk around the computer lab or people playing Fortnite and CS:GO or whatever, and you got your options here. You gotta update this on action answer. Nvidia, cryptography, direct current, or computer science. Which one of these was Alan Turing the inventor of? He also invented um, artificial intelligence. Yes, yes. Everyone in their mom and chat is right now saying, uh, saying computer science. But you know what, bros? Nvidia probably invented it, or he invented. Oh, there we go. No, I'm just kidding. Alan Turing did not invent Nvidia, although he's inspiration for a lot of stuff. I think they've got some technologies that 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 involve you know his last name Turing. But yes, Alan Turing, computer science. So how do we move on? Let's go right through the screen. Very cool. So previously you had to kind of like, you know, the screen's were a little bit smaller. You had to kind of like crouch to go through it. Thought it might be like, you know, a little bit of a confusing thing. So it's bigger. But, uh, but yeah, that's also a very cool room. And check this out. This, this, my friends, this is, is, is my pride and joy. Yeah, I spent like five weeks piece. building this. It took me every piece of my heart and soul to build this thing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Relic did this. <laughs> uh, what did I even do? Oh, my God. I'm so sad. But, no. Relic Relic made this. This is actually, um, I guess this is the 2.0 version. He made the first version, which is also still really great looking. And, and, um, this Brandon is definitely took a... the superior version. Oh, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. No, I remember I Relic's it. first, I remember Relic's first reaction after, I was, like, we were like, ah, like, can we, like, do X, Y, and Z after, like, Nvidia looked at it? And it's like, bro, it's just not possible. You can't do these things. This is Fortnite. And then after poking Relic a little bit more, he's like, okay. And then he went back and came back with this masterpiece. So, well, Relic, you know, Relic I, pushed. I learned a lot, uh, from, you know, engineers who say things are impossible and, time frames and then they get them done anyways and they look miraculous right yo man i gotta go tell that to the people who can't to the doctors that can't grow my hair back it's like bro <laughs> gotta push it to the limit man don't let dreams eat dreams but um but a, yeah this, is, this isn't actually the 2.0 version because it feels like more like the 6.0 version because first of all we had it stuck on the floor then we made it like it was tilted so we had to make the room bigger yes and then, yes. And then they wanted uh, some extra stuff which is great because the small details over here and they were at the right, at the right. It's, yeah yeah i'm glad then, uh, we, we, had to, we had to make so many changes to make this one look perfect so yeah and, and we of course we're having some issues we, with uh, this room though with pieces oh, dude. so i'm glad like the pieces actually showed up oh yeah there was one time we loaded up in here and like half the wall is gone for no reason yeah, <laughs> yeah and we're like I, okay i'll rebuild I think it's it these, uh, actual pieces here i was having a lot of issues with these like um the, the board chip pieces that looked right in. they kind of just disappeared for some reason yeah but anyway yeah. absolutely beautiful and uh so so great job on that that relic and um, uh, if we look behind, there's a little Easter egg. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at that! Ooh. Look at that! Hopefully, are there are there more Easter eggs like on the map for the rest for both of you guys? Or did Relic just kind of sneak it in for himself? Yeah, he sneaked it in for himself because I didn't. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! There Relic! One that all right. You bird snuck in for all of us. Oh man! All right. Don't. Oh, I'll show you guys all right. Something. Hopefully, no one gives me a problem over that man. <laughs> The bigger um, problem with this room was uh, we had no memory to work with at the end, so... Oh. It was so oh, yeah. J it just was so you guys so know, hard. like, during 90% of the time this map was made, memory was at, like, 
like 99 percent the entire time yeah, yeah. It was so these guys so are like much. how do we make more room how do we make more? it's like it's like when game developers trying to make a game work with like 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 a quarter of a megabyte of memory for nintendo or whatever it was that's actually probably too much but all right cool here we go we'll get the i missed that the next room the pool room what does the I h like stand for h jump off the uh diving board there and it was really cool <laughs> yeah, so let's see. What does H stand for? H two O. Um, obviously, man. I went, to, I went to school. Homium, of course. I'm not an idiot. I really like this answer. The hexagon. There we go. This one I actually tried to make the end like the wrong answers. Education. Homium is actually is an element, but it's rep by Ho, not H. So let's try again. So if you want to be a Ho, pick that answer. Um. Anyway, we're back over here. Ah, oh, beautiful. I like how it brings me back over here. Anyway, obviously. And just helium. <laughs> nah, anyway, all right, these jokes aren't funny. Okay, it's hydrogen going in. So a lot of folks have been opening up this chest, which I did not expect. Oh, the chest, yeah. Yeah, actually, I, I was wondering where people got the bush from. I was like, yeah, yeah you don't actually you need to open it up. So I was, I was initially like, you know, for like removing it or making the chest empty or something. So people didn't think they needed the, that wasn't part of the puzzle, but it's fine. So let's see here. Next up, coding or geology? Uh, I know the coding room is is relics room. Um, let's go. Uh, go geology. You know, Z-Bird's not here. Got to give him. Got him a little. So any of the rooms well, that we're I, not seeing, guys. I handled guys. the the design of it, and Z-Bird handled the mechanics. You guys, such a so good team, team, man. You guys just need to make your yeah. own company, like you know. Actually, you know who has their own company now? Like Maka makes uh, has like you know has evolved with his bros. Like then they make they made the uh, the maps for the. Um, the World Night, uh, the War, uh, the Fortnite World Cup. Lots of amazing stuff from those guys too. But cool, check it out. You got like your your demon malted monster here. So the core of the Earth is made out of what? Oil, pure gold, stainless steel, or hidden back over here. Obviously, it's pure oh, gold, right? I mean, it's got to. I held a. I was. I mentioned a few times. I held a, an actual bar of gold at the uh, at the New York um, Federal Reserve. The bar itself was about 30 pounds and worth almost $600,000. That thing was hefty. Absolutely hefty. Like down in the vault where they brought us, there was like I think close to $300 billion worth of gold. Pretty insane. If, you get, if you're ever in, in New York, I think it's worth doing a quick tour. Malted iron core. There were like three failed jokes that I deleted from there. So cool. <laughs> Next up is the music room. And, like the uh, one you went with. Uh... Oh, yeah. So cool. Yeah, your question here. Who among these musicians is not a famous classical pianist or historical of historical significance? So Ludwig van Beethoven, Frederick Chopin, Sergei Rachmaninoff, or Edward Ludwig van Halen. Any guesses? Any guesses? Frederick Chopin, of course. This guy's just a This guy, Frederick Chopin. He's like the inventor of the salad, I think. Oh, I thought he invented the chopsticks. Nope, it's a... Uh... It's a fail. It wasn't chopping. Yes, of course. It was Van Halen. Anyone born before like three years ago probably knows. So Van Halen, then you hop in here through the wall, and here we go. All right, cool. Next to the library room. I feel like I'm, I'm like in a scholastic novel now. <laughs> Books flying <laughs> everywhere. No one's returning it looks, this stuff. It looks like a bit like of the Harry Potter library. Ex yeah, exactly. That's, that's the vibe I got as well. Yeah, this is a Z-Bird room, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, man. What a what a clever guy. Which 15th century mechanical device is credited with spreading knowledge throughout Europe and beginning an era of mass communication? Gutenberg printing process, the compass, the Dewey Decimal System. Now, I we did some user testing where I pull somebody in before the map was released and be like, just I'm gonna follow you as you play the map. A lot of people chose the Dewey Decimal System, and they couldn't really? see me, but I was totally face palming. I see people in chat right now saying Dewey Decimal System. I'm not going to facepalm because my camera's on screen, but know this. I'm mentally judging you and mentally facepalming. No, the answer is the Gutenberg printing press. The printing press let you, like, you know, print books much faster instead of, like, you know, hand printing them or typing them or writing them or whatever. It's a printing press. And look at my, I'm so happy. Press my... ahead. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, listen, man. But I'm. Yeah, yo, I thought it was clever. 
It was good. It was good. Oh, why did that boost only last like two seconds? Anyway, it's too late for that. No complaining this recording. All right. Next, so we get the physics and science room. Which one should we go to, guys? I, I like, uh, they're both I really good rooms. Science. Okay, then we go science. Let's go I, the science. physics one's cut. You know what, guys? We're going to go to let's, the science room. Let's, let's, but when, let's you, when, you play, when you play, when you play, because you want to win a laptop, right? When you yeah. play, go to the physics room. Trust me, physics room is insane. But let's do the, the science room. So what is the smallest unit of matter? Wait a second. This wasn't updated. It's not supposed to be quarks. It's supposed to be molecule. Or did we already switch out molecule? Yeah, there it is. There's one okay. over here. All right. I thought we were swapping out quarks. Anyway, no big deal. No. So you can do whatever you want. So we put the shadow bombs here in case like people don't remember these stones make you jump higher. But um, anyway, the question is, which one of these is the smallest units? Is it molecule, atom, neutrino, or quarks? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Quarks. Yes, the answer. Where's my where's my victory sign? Here we go. Impressive. Aha, yes, quarks is correct. And then this is the finish. I'm not going in here because that's this is the room you need to go into to get your screenshot. And then you can like if you if you hang on, I can do a little peek. I'll, I'll peek the window. So if you go through this room, you get the you take your screenshot in there and you basically send out a tweet or Instagram post with the hashtag outsmart outplay with you doing that. And, you know, you can be with your you don't have to take it on your you just take a screenshot of your screen like when you've made it in there or whatever. Don't worry about being too crazy about it being perfect, but it should be it needs to be your account and you're in there and you can tweet that or you can uh, you can do an Instagram and you'll be entered to win a laptop from NVIDIA. Not from me, from NVIDIA. Don't go asking me to help you win or like that. I ain't got no control over that. Um, <laughs> now, like it says over there in the corner, terms and conditions apply. So go to the NVIDIA website. I don't have to. I'll, if I find the link, I'll put it in the, in the description. But go to the website and read the terms and conditions. People are asking whether it's you know open outside the U.S. or whether they have to be a certain age or whether your mom has to be attractive. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure because I'm not eligible. None of us here are eligible because we helped make the map. So I'm out of luck. You guys can win. So you guys go, 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 go figure it out. But I do have a request. If you thought this map is cool and you go through and check out the other rooms, um, like my name is actually the one as a supporter creator code. Don't support me. I like did like the least like work on this map at all. I was just the as usual the ball guy in the background yelling at people and these guys getting er irritated. But if you want to show some support, drop a uh, drop support for Jeff VH for for Relic for Zbird. Pick one of these guys and and then buy some stuff with some V bucks. Show them some love. Use your support creator code on them. So a big thank you to to Nvidia for like letting us do this awesome project with them. I hope you guys enjoyed the map. There are some rooms we didn't show. And, uh, and most of all, a big thank you to, to Relic, to, to Z-Bird, and to Jeff VH for lending their talents and then making this thing happen. So so great stuff, guys. Go out there. This map supports up to 16 people. Play it with your friends. Get that screenshot. Send it out. And if you want, like, you know, tag me in the in the tweet when you tweet it out or Instagram. I'm Swift or on Instagram and Twitter. So I'd like to see, you know, you complete it. So uh, you just finished it? Great. Yeah. Fun map. Let me know your thoughts and and who knows, maybe we'll get to do like another thing with them soon. Be great. But guys, thanks for watching. Go check out the map and I wish you the best of luck in winning this laptop. I have I have an awesome 2070 laptop. You may have seen my other stuff. I just did a video advertising the MSI uh, MSI um, G65 laptop that runs the RTX 2070. Oh my god. Beautiful laptop. The the G Force in the laptops is just insane. We can do with a laptop these days. Anyway. Great game, guys. Thanks for watching. Go enjoy the map. Code is at the top. The, the support of creator goes are somewhere on the screen, too. And, uh, and I'll and see you guys next video. And thanks to NVIDIA. They're yeah, a big thing in NVIDIA. Thanks for the opportunity, NVIDIA. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great stuff. Thank you.